Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of Beach and Beyond. I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director. And today we're going to be talking to Larry Nacolino in this beautiful space of the Ocean City Performing Arts Center about all of the great holiday events and performances that are taking place. We're also going to be heading up to the Ocean City Center for the Arts and talking to Rena Thaler, heading down to the distillery at Secrets and talking to Jackie Miller. And then we're going to hear from Jim Rapp to see what he's up to in the wilds of Worcester. So please don't go anywhere. New name, new games. So many new ways to win now at Ocean Downs Casino. Play live table games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. Hit on 100 additional slots, plus thrill to the excitement of lots more new theme slot games. The new Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Please play responsibly. For help, visit IndieGamblingHelp.org or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hi everyone and welcome back. We are here today in the Roland E. Powell Convention Center with Larry Nacolino, the Executive Director. And welcome to the show, first of all. Um, we're talking about all the great uh, events and performances that are taking place here during the holiday season coming up. First of all, Lisa, thank you so much for yeah, having me. Yeah, it's such a beautiful place. Isn't it nice? It's we're gorgeous. celebrating our 10th anniversary on December 10th. Believe it or not, five years I can't uh, believe that. That we've been here now, and uh, I can't believe it either. It's Five a beautiful years space. Of, still looks great, doesn't it? It's an absolutely it beautiful looks great. space. We have a tremendous staff. They do a great job. And, and you've they had take some, it personally. You've had some tremendous success here. I mean, yeah, you have a lot of much. sellout shows. Well, we just had a most recent tremendous success uh, was We Will Rock You, the Queen musical, yep. which was not too long ago. That was on uh, November 8th and uh, another sellout and we've had a lot of sellouts and we have several shows coming up um the next one after this are are the are the uh, 10 tenors tickets are still available by the way a few tickets not many. left a few okay. tickets left not many uh that comes up on november 29th the day after thanksgiving so while you're here for the yeah, weekend yeah. great great friday night for you acoustics then, in here are great too aren't, by the way aren't they fantastic absolutely great yeah yep yeah. we had one group one time come in with their own sound system. So they get their sound system all set up and the lead singer of the group says, take this, take that out of here. We're using their sound their, system. Your sound system is better. It's better than ours. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, and, it's just beautiful. But the acoustics are just fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So how about uh, moving into December and yeah. the holiday season? You've got some after, other shows coming up. After the 10 tenors, we've got the Red Doors Community Center's uh, version of Christmas Cabaret. Okay. Uh, after that, the Oak Ridge Boys come in. Uh, that's on December 7th. Have they been and, here before? No, they no. haven't. Okay. They were at the inlet, though. Okay. But hurry up and get those tickets because there's only a few left. And, of course, we have our annual Christmas show with the Mid-Atlantic Symphony Orchestra yeah. who do a tremendous job. And they're with us four times a year, I by the way. I have heard them in here, and they do sound fabulous. Aren't they good? Fabulous. They sound tremendous yep. here. Yep. And then uh, Brian's Christmas uh, songbook, which is doing its third show, third time around. So and they're also doing one for the kids, a special performance for the kids the day after. Oh. Or the, I'm sorry, the day before. Okay. We're just the grade schoolers. Uh, that's on uh, December 13th. And uh, then we finish off with the Nutcracker from the Sussex Dance Academy, which is their, not, that, that this is their fourth year. Yeah. That, uh, they'll be with and us. And that's a great traditional event yeah. to take the family to yeah. as well. Yeah. No, it's it's what you've done here. And, and do you find that a lot of the people who are coming here are from out of the area or a little of both, local and visitors? We are only through zip codes. We okay. check zip codes. Okay. Uh, Ticketmaster gives us uh, a zip code. So, okay. you know, you have Northern Virginia, D.C., uh, obviously Baltimore and Annapolis and Anne Arundel County and Hartford County and Baltimore and uh, yeah. well, you Philadelphia, know, it is such Southern a nice New Jersey. State of the art facility, and we were mentioning earlier how it's nice to have a facility like this where yeah. you don't have to tr drive to the big city to find it. Mm -hmm. So, you have some other big milestones coming up. You um, are we doing do. some expansion and celebrating another big anniversary. We're doing our expansion. Uh, the first we break ground for that the first week of April. We're adding 30,000 
square feet to an already existing 45,000 square feet, yeah. giving us 75,000 of in uninterrupted exhibit space. Wow. That's going to the north of halls A and B, which is the main halls for our convention center. You guys uh, never sit still. There's no. always something going on. Yep, we don't uh. want to sit still. Our clients are always asking for more space. More space, and wow. And we're giving it to them. So if people want more information on all the great shows you just mentioned, what's a good website to go to? A couple to? of them. The first one is www.ocmdperformingartscenter.com. Okay. Or www.ticketmaster.com or www.ococean.com. Okay. So that's a, that's a that, that, there's plenty of ways to, yeah. to, to reach them here. So as Larry said, hurry up and get your tickets if you're interested because a lot of times these shows do sell out. Larry, thank you so much for being on the show today. It's and, been a uh, pleasure and thank you for having us. We'll see you here over the holidays. Absolutely. Thanks. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. It is an American zeal to be first in anything we do. The achievements of an organization are the results of the combined effort of each individual. So it's only natural to choose the number one physical therapy practice five years in a row. Choose Atlantic Physical Therapy. At Atlantic Physical Therapy, we provide one-on-one -on -one care with a treatment plan specifically designed for you. Call one of our nine convenient locations for an evaluation within 24 hours. At Atlantic Physical Therapy, we keep the care in healthcare. Often imitated, never equaled. Boom! Thanks so much, Larry, for joining us here, and uh, what a good segue. We're leaving here, and we're heading to the Ocean City Center for the Arts to talk about what is happening arts-wise in Ocean City with Rena Thaler. Hi, I'm Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City, and you're here at our beautiful home, the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. This segment is brought to you by the Casino at Ocean Downs, and we're here to tell you why art matters this month. So this month in our galleries, we're featuring the works of our annual members jury show. The Art League has over a thousand members, about 600 of them are artists. And for this show, we had 101 works that were submitted in all different mediums. And then our judge, Christopher Harrington of University of Maryland Eastern Shore, um, took a look at the pieces and juried it down to about 40 of the 100 pieces. And I'm here today with Megan Burak, who is one of our artists, members, and also staff member here at the Art League. And uh, we're looking at her painting, which is part of this juried show. Yes. And it's called By Candlelight. So, Megan, what inspired you to paint this? Um, so, this is my newest painting. Um, I am very into still lifes right now. So, what I've been doing is going to different thrift shop areas. Um, taking different objects that I find really interesting, and then I'll bring them all home, I'll put them together in a um, way that makes sense and is visually appealing, and also kind of tells a little bit of the story. Mm -hmm. A very... Um, well, it's so dramatic. I love yeah. the lighting in it. You can see all the little detail here. It's amazing. That's so. what I was trying to capture was just this luminescent light in the darkness. Um, so I am very happy with it, and uh -huh. I'm so happy it got into the show. Yeah. So. Well, congratulations. It's a beautiful piece. One of, like I said, 40 beautiful pieces in this gallery. In our Galleria is our Best of exhibit, and I know you have a piece in there as well. I do have a piece in there as so well. So any of our um, artists who won an award during the year, during 2019, were invited to bring their winning pieces back, or another piece of it had been sold. And uh, anybody who's been in to the galleries during the course of the year and seen something but didn't buy it yes. can come back, come and, back and buy it, and buy it again <laughs> now. So, and, and art is such a great gift for people um, yes. because it's something that lasts in your home you know, forever. Makes an excellent gift, so come on down before Christmas. We have a lot of work here, a lot of new work, a lot of great work. Mm -hmm. So, be awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Megan. Thank you. So Megan, we were talking earlier about how art makes great gifts, and a lot of people might not realize how much artisan wear is here at the art center, mm -hmm. um, in addition to the paintings and all. Yes, we have a plethora of different gifts um, in our gift shop area. 
um, ceramics, we have some paintings, we have glassware, jewelry in the back here. Um, some fiber. Fiber. Right? There's a bunch of different mediums. There's definitely something for everybody, I would and, say. And buying something that is original, handcrafted, mm -hmm. you know, is definitely a more authentic yes. experience as yes. a gift for people. And, and, and then, of course, there's lots and lots of jewelry, as you mentioned, um, fiber. Also, books by uh, local authors. So a lot, of, a lot of places that you can explore here at the Art Center. Definitely. Every month, between 30 and 100 artists sell their work here at the Art Center. If you become a member of the Art League, I, you, you, know, you get a discount. Yes. So if you become a member, you would get 10% off anything that you would buy. So that includes anything in the gift shop, any um, of the artwork in the gallery that you would buy. Um, and I think it's really important to shop locally because I will tell you as an artist, that anytime I get a sale, I do a little dance and it's really <laughs> fun. So make right. a local artist do a little dance this That's season. right. Right. And, um, and of course, the Art Center is open seven days a week. Mm -hmm. 11 to 4 on weekdays and 9 to 4 weekends, 361 days a year. Well, thank you, and uh, come down and, and, as Megan said, make the local artist dance yes. by supporting <laughs> the arts. So we're here in Studio E, and each month Studio E at the Art Center is dedicated to a different artist. But mm -hmm. in December, we have our small work show. Yes. And uh, there's a great variety in, in here. Yes, a bunch of different mediums in here. And great prices, too. Yes, I mean, if you're excellent. looking for gifts, $80, $60, $95. So it's all originals, no prints, no copies, all original artwork. Definitely a great gift, gift as well. Um, and like I said, you could buy multiple ones of them. The prices are so good in here. So be sure to stop into Studio E when you visit the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. You can find us online, artleagueofoceancity.org, on our Facebook page and Instagram, even on Twitter. And Twitter. And yes. Twitter. We're open seven days a week year-round. And this segment is brought to you by the Casino at Ocean Downs. And that's why art matters. That's why art matters. Welcome to Ocean City, Maryland's Winter Fest of Lights, November 21st through December 31st. Enjoy a musical ride through 58 acres of holiday lights on the Winter Fest Express, including our 50-foot tree. It's such a holiday delight. Visit Kris Kringle's Corner and see me, Santa. Browse the holiday gifts and new kids-only shop. Take photos at the Instagram hotspots and sip on hot chocolate, all inside the heated Winter Fest Pavilion. We'll see you and yours soon. Merry Christmas to all and for all these beautiful lights. Ho, ho, ho! Secrets, Jamaica, USA, where it feels like the tropics all year long. The new menu is here, along with specials you won't want to miss. Weekday lunch specials, daily happy hour, and dinner specials Sunday through Thursday. Then, when the sun goes down, the party heats up. Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every weekend. Secrets, 49th Street, Enda Bay, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Come discover the fascinating history of Delmarva, from the earliest Native Americans to the farmers and watermen that have made the peninsula their home. Explore the natural wonders of the region with our exciting live and interactive exhibits. Meet our friendly river otters, Mac and Tuck. Get your hands wet in the touch pool, tong for oysters, set sail in a cat boat, climb into a beaver's lodge, and so much more. The Delmarva Discovery Museum in Pocomoke City is all about interactive family fun. Thanks, Rena. Next, let's go talk to Jackie Miller at Secrets to see what's happening there. Hi guys, Jackie here. Welcome to Secrets Jamaica, USA. Home to the largest nightclub in the area with 18 bars and five stages with live entertainment every night. The 7,000 square foot Morley Hall nightclub features state-of-the-art sound, lighting, and visuals displayed on a 4K jumbo screen. The area's top bands perform in the Morley Hall, including Garden State Radio, Go Go Gadget, as well as live DJs spinning mixes of EDM and Top 40 records. Other stages at Secrets include the Pier Stage, Tiki Stage, Main Bar Stage, and the Beach Stage. Dance in the Sand to Chill Vibes at the Beach Stage, our largest venue on the property, hosting reggae acts, pop rock bands, and live DJs. Check out our calendar of events at secrets.com, including our summer concert series featuring Tribal Seeds, Fortunate Youth, Hyrie, and many more. 
All right, party people, we hope to see you soon at Secrets. Find us and get lost. Secrets Distilling Company, Ocean City's first distillery since Prohibition. We invite you to travel back in time to Prohibition era for a behind-the-barrels view of Secrets Distilling Company. Learn the process by which we make our spirits, from grain to bottle. Tours offered every weekend from 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. On the hour, every hour. So don't delay. Call 410-524-BOOZ. That's 410-524-BOOZ. Secrets Distilling Company, the taste worth fighting for. Thanks, Jackie. Next, we are going to be heading outside to talk to Jim Rapp, and he's going to be giving us some wildlife treat that he always does. Without a doubt, Worcester County's most popular residents are the famous wild horses of Assateague Island. Travelers come here from all over the world to see the crowd-pleasing ponies, descendants of domestic horses likely brought to the barrier island in the 17th century by mainland owners looking to avoid livestock taxes. For hundreds of years, Assateague's horses have roamed wild and free, and their encounters with humans were limited. Only those hardy adventurers able to explore the island by boat, on foot, and in off-road vehicles were able to hang out with the horses. When the Verrazano Bridge was opened in 1964 and the state and national parks opened in 1965, travel to the island became much easier for the masses. Today, the bridge delivers more than one million visitors each year to Assateague to enjoy the beach and bays, the camping and nature trails, and the world-famous horses. With that many visitors, conflicts are bound to arise between horses and humans. In July 2017, a seven-year-old mare died from an internal blockage caused by eating large amounts of dog food that was likely improperly stored by an Assateague visitor. Less than three months later, an 18-year-old stallion was struck and killed by an SUV. It's not all bad for the horses either. These powerfully strong wild animals get spooked easily, are extremely fast, and will bite and kick when scared or annoyed. The results can be very painful for people. Your actions matter greatly to the health and viability of our wild horses. Here are some simple rules that you must follow to ensure safety for yourself, your family, and the wild horses. Never try to pet them and stay at least one bus length away. This isn't a petting zoo and there are no pony rides at Assateague. The horses may appear tame, but their behavior can change in a split second. You do not want to be trampled in a sprinting herd or kicked by an 800-pound horse. This goes for dogs, too. All dogs must be leashed at Assateague, and your pet should never harass a horse. Do not feed the horses, ever. I know what you're thinking. It's just me, and it's just this one potato chip one time. But please, don't ever feed the wild horses. Multiply your thought by thousands of people who think that their one horse snack is innocent too, and you can see how the horses quickly learn to associate people with food. Hungry horses have terrible manners too, and will often bite and kick when they don't get what they want. Do your very best to store food in vehicles or coolers that lock. When camping, keep food and coolers in your car. At the beach, place your food in a locked cooler when horses are roaming nearby. Human and pet food can kill horses. It's easy. Don't mess things up for yourself or for the wild horses. Please abide by the rules for wildlife watching on Assateague so that we can enjoy the wild horses for years to come when we're traveling Maryland's beach and beyond. Hey everybody, what's up? Scott Lennox here from Hooked on OC. It's the most Wonderful time of the year. <coughs> Sorry about that, but it's Winter Fest of Lights here at Northside Park at 123rd Street, and it's time to go through 58 acres of one of the most beautiful Christmas scenes that you're ever gonna see.
As you can see, folks, the town of Ocean City has done another outstanding job with the Winter Festive Lights. They're always putting something new into the display. And make sure you check out the 50-foot tall Christmas tree here as you leave the parking lot. Another awesome event here in Ocean City. You're not going to want to miss it. It goes now through December 31st. If you want to see Santa Claus, though, you got to get here before December 23rd. All right, every Monday through Thursday from 5.30 until 9.30 p.m., every Friday and Saturday from 5.30 until 10.30 p.m. If you want to find out more about the Winter Festive Lights or any other event here in Ocean City, go to ococean.com. I will see you at the beach and at the Winter Festive Lights. Hi everybody, winter has arrived and so is our snow promotion at Park Place Jewelers. If it snows one inch on New Year's Day, anything you buy between Black Friday and December 20th will be free. Did he say free? Dad, did you say free? That's right, I said free. So if you're going to purchase jewelry this Christmas, you might as well have a chance to get it for free. Did he say free? So come into Park Place Jewelers between now and December 20th to have your chance to get your jewelry for free this holiday season. Hi and welcome to the beach. I'm Mayor Rick Meehan and I want to invite you to join us as we celebrate Christmas, the holiday season and the start of a new year right here in Ocean City. If you're looking for a favorite holiday tradition, take a ride on the Winterfest Express. This signature event offers a one-of-a-kind experience through the dazzling Winterfest of Lights. We will also be ringing in the new year with a fireworks show and celebration at Northside Park. With live entertainment, warm hot chocolate, and the opportunity to ride through the Winterfest of Lights, our New Year's Eve celebration is a perfect event for the whole family. Last but not least, I want to invite you to be our guest at the Mayor's New Year's Day concert where you will be greeted by myself, the City Council, when the doors open at 4 p.m. This free event takes place at our fabulous Performing Arts Center and will feature performances by Brian Russo and Beatle Legacy. Celebrating the start of a new year and the 50th anniversary of the Roll Nepal Convention Center, this upbeat stage show will offer your family an energetic start to 2020. On behalf of the Marin City Council, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we look forward to seeing you New Year's Day and throughout the year in Ocean City. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and we are here in Berlin today with Ivy Wells, who's the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin. Did, yes. I, get that, did I get that right? Berlin, Berlin, Ber okay. it's all the same I got place. Your right. We're good. And we are going to be doing a little walk around and talking about the arts scene in town and uh, they're alive and well year round. Oh, what people don't realize is that we're actually a designated arts and entertainment district. Correct. And that means we offer an array of uh, public art, live music, and we've really bumped up our live music scene. We've got art galleries featuring local and international art too. So this is going to be fun. Let's take a little it's walk. It's always fun yeah. in Berlin. Okay, so let's head, um, let's head downtown and we are going to stop by the first gallery right here? Yes, Art in the Fields. Art in the Fields is an upscale gallery. When they first opened, they actually had Andy Warhol portraits in here. That's what I understand. And next, we're heading around the corner to Jeffrey Oxer's. So here we are in Jeffrey Oxer Designs Blown Glass and Fine Art Studio. I love this place. Uh, he is so incredible. He loves his job so much and his art so much. He literally built his house on top. And I love the fact that they ship he ships his art and his glassworks all over the world. So this is Wooden Octopus. It's located right across the street from Jeffrey Oxer's glass blowing studio and the Burley Cafe. So this street is also the location of the Second Friday Makers Market. We have artists set up and kids activities, our arts entertainment committee. Uh, they do a I wonderful love that job. Idea. Second Friday's right here on Jefferson Street, where the Worcester County Arts Council is. And what a good idea to do it on Second Friday with all these galleries right here. I know, it's perfect. And I understand the Worcester County Arts Council has been in the town of Berlin since 1976. It has, and we're so fortunate to have it right here in our downtown. We are heading towards the Globe, and she has dedicated the entire upstairs as an art gallery. She also features art shows for our Arts Entertainment Committee. The Balcony Gallery. The Balcony okay. Gallery. Okay. Um, on what grounds? Right up here. Oh, it smells so good. Ah. I know, I love the smell of that coffee. 
So here we are at On What Grounds Coffee Shop. This is also another art gallery we have here in town. There's many of our shops have local artists featured. So a trip uh, to check out all the arts in Berlin would not be complete without coming to the Baked, Baked Dessert, Dessert Cafe. Cafe. We're on Bay Street now, and it's right around the corner from Town Hall. And you can see... There's that, over 20 always, different local artists represented here. And they oh. always do. And they're always open for Second Friday. You can come in, you can taste some wine, meet a local artist, and this artist here all year round. So here we are at the Greyhound and Indie Bookstore, which is one of our newest shops. They also it. feature local art here on the walls. I just love what they have done to this place. It's fabulous. It's beautiful in yep. here. It's gorgeous. Well, this is going to wrap up our tour. And mm -hmm. if you come to Berlin, I'm sure there's lots of other places that we uh, haven't covered, but this has been a fabulous tour. Now, if people want more information about Berlin and the Arts and Entertainment District, what's a good website for people to go to? So to find out more about Berlin, go to uh, BerlinMainStreet.com. And to mm -hmm. find out more about the arts in Berlin, go to ArtsInBerlin.org. Excellent. Easy, easy. Thanks, Ivy. Thanks for the tour. Always fun to see you, it Lisa. It is always fun. Thanks so much for joining us today, and if you're looking for more great ideas of things to do coming up this holiday season, then tune in for another episode of Beach and Beyond.